fingers crossed this was my most expensive order so far for the shop so I'll show you they did not send that was miscut March 7th and I just got my um, exciting package from my washi man oh, excuse me manufacturer um, and I was expecting a bigger package so let's see what's inside I hope I will not have problems with this order because I already had it so basically they had to reprint my stickers and I had to pay more uh, but I was I was like, I just um, took for granted that they would ship everything to me because that's what you do when you have printed and ordered. I, mean, I don't know. I just let's let's see what's inside. Let's see if everything is in here, but I don't think so. The board, the the card. Oh gosh, the box is very small and also not that heavy. So. Let's see, I still don't have a tripod, so I'll just have to figure something out for now. But, fingers crossed, this was my most expensive order so far for the shop, so. Not send the other. So here's everything. Let me show you. They did not send the others. That was miscut. And I'm sad. They miscut the round cuts instead of putting the cut layer below the the printer layer. They put it on top. So the round stickers were basically just the circle lines. And so they had to reprint that, but I was expecting them to send that because I was planning on cutting. So I was pl uh, planning on sending B grades, selling B grades, and cutting the part of the circles. But they didn't send it. I'm so I'm so mad. I paid shipping. I paid full price for shipping. I'm gonna have to sort this out. And then one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, yeah, six designs. And then, so I have the stickers. I have the washi tapes. These were actually for the Valentine's collection, but they were late. So, yeah. Um, I think they look a bit pinkier, pinker than I was expecting, but overall, they look good. Let me show you. So, yeah, here's all the uh, washies and the stickers. And they are really well packed and the colors are really good. I'm happy with the colors. I was afraid they wouldn't come out as nice. So yeah. I guess some sneak peeks at what's to come this year, but I'm only releasing these two. Uh, no. So yeah. Okie dokes.
Hi guys, it's voiceover Christy here. How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. Um, here you can see me doing more um, computer work and um, on my last vlog I shared how I was adding my greeting cards to the Squarespace website. Um, I would say February was for sure a very computer focused month even though I was also packing and working on new product the arrival of new products into the studio as you can see in this vlog I was also spending a lot of time on my Squarespace shop platform I was adding all the listings and uploading them from Etsy you can actually um, just very easily I guess <laughs> export and import your Etsy shop from your Etsy page to your Squarespace but I chose not to go with that uh, paid plan for for my first year on Squarespace so I could save a, a little bit and so that's why I have to do it manually and yes it would have saved me a lot of time but also I prefer in a way to do it like this so I can make sure that both my inventory is correct which on Etsy it's kind of iffy but also that I only include on my Squarespace what I really really want to um, sell I feel like my Etsy is getting kind of crowded in a way not really crowded because the more products you have on there the better it performs but also um, I feel like I have a few products there that I wanted to discontinue but I'm just holding on to them instead of just discounting them or doing like oops bags or um, mystery bags so yeah, I was also kind of debating all this time which products to bring on to Squarespace and whatnot. And so that's basically what I'm doing here. I'm choosing which stickers to make a, pat, a pack of and which ones to not um, even bother including in the website. And in the end, there are a few that I'm not gonna convert um, not convert but upload to Squarespace the reason being I have a couple of markets and pop-ups coming up and I just decided to do a few sticker packs out of the individual stickers and it now now that I'm editing this is after the first market and I think that it was actually a great idea like the sticker packs were so popular I had no idea people would eat them up like that like people were all over the sticker packs they loved the drinks sticker packs which includes the boba and the strawberry stickers like people really adhered well to them so I'm pretty happy that I did it but yeah basically I just wanted to come on here and say that converting your shop is really exciting it's a lot of fun I'm definitely pumped but it's also a lot of decision making which gets to me sometimes and can be a little bit overwhelming as I'm sure you guys understand but yeah in the in the end I think I made the right decisions and you can check out what I decided to put on my Squarespace it, I think it's looking pretty neat um, yeah I'll leave you to it now talk to you soon Trying hard to find a way to tell myself it's fine But I know that, baby, I'm never on your mind And it don't matter how hard we try Cause you're never on my mind One day I woke up with you on my bed couldn't even remember a thing we said I was wondering if I ever really liked you Up against my body but it's like I'm not beside you Can't think of a reason I should keep you close Can't say you're the one I need the most And I know that you can't say it either Looking at your mirror like you don't wanna be hurt me, you're never on my mind I'm trying hard to find a way to tell myself it's fine But I know that baby, I'm never on your mind And no matter how hard we try Cause you're 
Yes, you're never on my mind I know it's been hard and complicated I know what you know, but you never say it One of these days, gotta face the truth Not made for me, I'm not made for you The best place for me is away from you Lying in bed, I'm never facing you And I'm hoping that I might make you mad So every night you won't wanna face me too, yeah I can list the problems for a million years But I don't wanna spend another minute with you here I think you've probably had enough I'll go ahead and be the one who prayed to die so Cause you're never on my mind I'm trying hard to find a way to tell myself it's fine But I know that baby, I'm never on your mind Try 
Cause you're never on my mind I know it's been hard and complicated I know what you know but you never say it One of these days gotta face the truth Not made for me, not made for you The best place for me is away from you Lying in bed, I'm never facing you And I'm hoping that I might make you mad So every night you won't wanna face me too, yeah the Ukraine fundraiser stickers that I was talking to you about in my previous vlog. Um, they say make art not war and I have decided on a few more details about the fundraisers so that's why, um, why I'm doing this little voiceover here. So each sticker will be two dollars and um, each print which I'm opening up here will be five dollars and 100% um, of the proceeds will go to Nova Ukraine, that's N-O-V-A Ukraine and I'll make sure I put the link down below um, if you want to check it out but essentially I split the two products because you, people might not have the five dollars to give um, essentially in the beginning I was thinking of the print and the sticker as a five dollar tier but um, yeah, I decided to break them down into two. So you basically now have the option of donating two dollars or five dollars, and um, yeah, basically a hundred percent of the proceeds will go towards the fundraiser. So you buy the product for two dollars, and I donate the full two dollars to Nova Ukraine. Um, and you can totally check out um, this organization. So you know where the funds are going to, which I think is very important. I can list the props for a million years, but I don't want to spend another minute with you here. my products and I just realized that even though this first quarter was a big success for my standards and for where, where I stand in my business I just realized that there were a lot of fails <laughs> so I'm currently working on a Q1 recap for 2022 where I highlight the things I've done differently this year and how that has um, impacted positively my business journey but actually let me just mention it here for the record like two product lines came out really late in the game they were supposed to be released for Valentine's Day and they actually arrived to me mid-March so that's about a month later and they will only be released well I actually released the notepads before but they will only be released in April like the washies are actually only coming out now in my big collection because I didn't want to put stuff like every month and announce and release every month essentially but yeah oh gosh I guess I'm glad I was not that frustrated and didn't think it was that big of a deal but guys this is what happens when you're running a small business and you're doing it all by yourself and relying on other manufacturers to have your products ready and I mean no way complaining I'm just saying like yeah a lot of the things that I wished would have gone smoothly did not so just plan for that to happen as well okay so yeah here I was taking product pictures and I do this in my well-lit window which is actually I think it's well positioned it's it's facing west 
but if it gets really sunny at like 3 p.m. I can no longer take more photos so that's a disadvantage but other than that it's a pretty neat thing that I have going on here so then um, I think it was the next day I proceeded to do some journaling with my new goodies and the reason being like I'm getting used to this and I feel like it should be less staged like I'm clearly just setting a few photos and collages on the page so that I can exemplify how my products look on your spreads and even though I wish I wouldn't um, stage it as much this is actually something that I only started doing recently which I know it's kind of dumb I should have done it way longer um, but yeah I feel like I've only publicized my products in like um, finished product photos and stage and all that but not actually how I use them in my planners and how they will look on your paper so that's something that I'm also changing up this year I will start um, doing a lot more journaling spreads and things like that because of course I also want to exemplify how my products actually look on your journals like that's a no-brainer but because we have such a limited amount of time in our hands and um, up until this year I was not prioritizing my business as much I guess this always split through the cracks whenever it gave a lot of thought to it I just posted the final pictures on the website and that was good to go in my opinion but actually no maybe that was one of my biggest mistakes in uh, marketing my products this is actually very um, a very interesting moment I'm realizing that now as I'm editing this video and just wanted to point that out if you guys also have a small secret business don't be afraid to film yourself journaling and take photos of your own products on your spreads I feel like we get caught up in all the things going on that we don't realize how important that is to exemplify to our customers how our products will look okay maybe that was a long ramble about this but um, essentially that's what I'm doing here and the photos came out pretty cool I did also a few reels on it and you can check out my Instagram for more about this but I was really happy with how the spreads came out and um, yeah I hope you like them too one of the things that I noticed was um, I don't like writing on the spreads that I post I feel like for very obvious reasons we don't want to expose our thoughts and things like that so let me know what you guys think like does it bother you that I only do the actual collage on the page and not actually write on it or you don't care would you prefer that I wrote on it I've been postponing on editing this week's studio vlog and last week was um, also a messy week <laughs> so um, essentially my family has been recovering from really serious sickness and when I say serious sickness it's not the virus or anything and it's really just a stomach flu but it was the first time where we all got it in the house so it just takes a different toll I guess we were really exhausted and then my son started to sleep really badly at night too so anyways uh, we're, we're we're getting better I think things are getting better so yeah uh, I will try to Maybe put the alarm for 30 minutes and do some editing on the studio vlog because there's not a lot that I need to do right now. I've added um, the clips are all cut and all that kind of thing. So I'm only, I only need to add, and I say only, it's not, it's not small task, but I want to add the song, like the background music. I want to do the animations and things I want to put on the screen and a thumbnail and I might be able to do that in 30 minutes we'll see 
I have a market tomorrow like I was talking to you about so I also want to finish that and that should really take priority but I'm just itching to get that studio vlog out and I'll try to make it possible so I won't film it because that takes makes it take longer <laughs> basically but um, I'll see you in a while bye I feel like this vlog is all over the place, but um, this is actually the chronological order of how things happen. So it's a few days later. Um, I guess there was a random clip of me rambling about what I wanted to do. And I was talking to you about um, editing the studio vlog, which I'm glad I did. I like having a schedule and I like posting. Um, regularly so I was happy that I was able to put that video out but anyways this is about maybe a week or 10 days later um, after that clip you just saw and it's just me finalizing uh, the product on my website so I actually finished up way earlier this time I'm so happy I was able to add every product for the shop lounge on my Squarespace uh, more than two weeks before the dates, which gives me plenty of time to put my content up there, to publicize it with reels and videos and whatnot. And I'm actually quite proud about it because when I decided on the date, I proposed the. I did it on purpose that it was April 16. I think I decided this before. Uh, March 16 for sure so I gave myself at least a month to work on everything and honestly that's the way to go <laughs> but anyways so I'm adding the final uh, listings and the product specifications on my website and you can see that I just dump every sticker in a box and every washi every product that I want to add and I have them laid out in front of me that's the only way guys it's the only way that it ever works for me and yeah I just basically have them all out and I go I go by them as I'm adding each individual item to the website so yeah here I actually decided to order more of those coffee beans stickers because in my market which was actually quite su successful I, I'm so happy about how it went but I almost ran out of this design so instead of having like 20 which is how I started I have four left so I quickly went to my other computer and included that in the order that I was sending out to sticker mule but anyways this vlog is getting quite long and I do apologize for how um here and there things are and how random they look but i so appreciate you guys being here please give it a like and comment down below on your thoughts about like new product ideas and things like that things that you would like to see new washi colors all that i i'm always so excited to hear from you guys and a few of you have been saying how helpful my, a few of my videos are and that honestly makes my day so thank you so much for being here for watching and for liking my content um it really supports my channel and is helping me grow so i so thank you for that also check out um, my new squarespace website at www.fullbloomandco Dot com and my Instagram page if you fancy a follow at Fulcrum and Co. And have a great day, you guys. I hope you're doing well and stay safe. Bye bye.